learners i welcome you all to this session where i will be discussing the course named organizational behavior and human resource management this is a course of the bachelor of social work program 6 semester and it is divided into two blocks block 1 and block 2 organizational behavior is a is a course that introduces you to the subject of OB and human resource management. This course is designed as where the concepts of organizational behavior and human resource management will be discussed. It will provide an overview of the many dynamics of organizations and the functions of managing human resources. The main three important elements that we see here in this course is that of number one individuals number two groups and thirdly the structure it basically comprises organizational behavior management and it is a course that we will discover the management functions such as planning organizing staffing and controlling also we will be discussing organizational behavior and the various aspects that impact the behavior of individuals in an organization. Now when we talk about an organization, it might be referring to any commercial or any uh, industrial, any uh, educational or any form of institute where human resources are employed. Therefore, it is a commercial organization in which individuals from various cultural background from different psychological perspectives and behavioral aspects all combined together come and work in a particular organization therefore since there is a lot of variance and lot of diversity in an organization the behavior that we see on the part of every individual that ultimately comprises of groups and a different sections and departments in the organization we will be able to understand how the in individual dynamics and group dynamics work in an organization. Organizational behavior is the study of both groups and individuals performance and activity within an organization. This area of study in the course of examining will be mainly focusing on human behavior in a work environment and determines its impact on job structure, performance, communication, motivation, leadership and other dynamics. So this course has a total of 15 units that is divided into block 1 and block 2. The block 1 firstly focuses on the introductory concepts of organizational behavior and management. Here development of human resources of management uh, approaches, motivation, concept of manpower planning and organizing and then management of conflict within organizations in, and human resource development is focused. In the block 2, we will see that it concentrates on human resource management, industrial relations, leadership aspects, labor laws, power, politics conflict management and stress and also how occupational social work is important in the workplace. Now a question might come to you that why this paper on organizational behavior and human resource management which is also part of many bachelor of uh, management and also masters of ma business administration courses why would be this course an important aspect in the Bachelor of Social Work or Social Work Curriculum. Now let me tell you that uh, social work in the workplace or occupational social work is gaining its importance in today's world. We see a lot of cases of rising stress, workload and also understanding industrial uh, conflict dynamics and other aspects and also when we talked about diversity in the workplace. So in the social work perspective when it has been felt in today's era that the role of a social worker, the role of a counsellor is very important in the organizations or in the workplace. Therefore, this course is an important one for the curriculum of social work that will help you to have an in-depth understanding about why 
सोशल वर्क इन द वर्क प्लेस और ऑक्यूपेशनल सोशल वर्क इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट आर द ब्लॉक्स दैट आर देयर व्हाट आर द यूनिट्स इन ब्लॉक वन सो इन द यूनिट इन द ब्लॉक वन यूनिट वन इज नेम दस इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बिहेवियर यूनिट टू इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल मैनेजमेंट यूनिट थ्री पर्सनैलिटी एंड परसेप्शन यूनिट फोर individuals and groups in organizations unit 5 dynamics of organization unit 6 group and team and unit 7 organizational change and number 8 leadership so we see that in this block we are taking into account various elements of organizational behavior we are talking about how the individuals and the groups behavior impacts the work culture of an organization also the perspective of personality types of personality the power dynamics how the groups are formed and how groups function in an organization is important organizational change here we are talking about various developmental perspectives and also training and development that can lead to a better work environment and better quality of human resource in the organization uh, effective leadership is an important part of how uh, who is leading the organization so therefore who is leading the organization and what kind of leadership is being followed in an organization is very important therefore these are the main units that will discuss these different perspectives power dynamics is an important aspect that here we see which also can see, you can see as an important you know a cause of conflict in an organization therefore these elements have to be understood in an in depth way next in the block 2 this block 2 is mainly talks about human resource management perspectives where we see human resource as an important element or important resource of the organization there are other resources like capital and other uh, important resources but human resource is said to be one of the important resources or is said to be the backbone of any organization so here proper planning manpower planning is important here and that is known as human resource planning in unit 10 we are discussing on planning and unit 11 on human resource development human resource development mainly focuses on training and development and the aspects that needs to be promoted for uh, enhancing the quality of human resources in an organization there are different hr practices that will be discussed in unit 12 and unit 13 covers an important aspect that is known as industrial relations industrial relations means mainly talks about the relation between the employees the employers and uh, uh, also intra organizational relations that exist in the commercial world so here industrial relations is important because it helps you to understand the conflict the cooperation and the different stakeholders of an organization what kind of relationships exist between them for the smooth functioning of the organization that is covered in the aspect of industrial relations or commonly known as ir so uh, there are different uh, techniques like collective bargaining and various other techniques to bring about cooperation among the employers employees and to have a smooth functioning of the organization the 14th unit talks about labor laws or labor legislations like factories act the esi act and others labor laws here this unit mainly focuses on why labor legislation is important labor legislation states the statutory laws that are important to be followed for the welfare of labor or labor welfare therefore labor laws are indispensable to this particular course that is obn hrm labor laws are very important to have justice for the workers and also employees rights and also employers rights unit 15 focuses on what kind of workforce is in needed for an organization and how the indian labor force is characterized 
this unit 15 brings out a perspective which is contextualized in the Indian aspect. So occupational social work and why social work is an important part even in the workplace this will be discussed here. So that is all for this particular session where in this introductory session I have introduced you to this course organizational behavior and human resource management. It is part of the Bachelor of Social Work 6 semester course and we have discussed the importance of OB and HR in the social work profession where we understand the that the field of fields of social work is expanding day by day and social work in the workplace or industrial social work holds an important place in today's world. Thank you.